it's Angel. If you're watching this video, it probably means you're serious and interested in making pineapple cakes at home. So for those of you who've never made pineapple cakes before, I wanted to give you my top five tips and tricks. So here we go. Tip number one. Well, more like question number one. It's a very common question, where do you get these pineapple cake molds? Well, if you live in Taiwan, they actually sell these pineapple cake molds. But if you're like the rest of the world and you don't live in Taiwan, you can actually buy square cookie cutters or more commonly found the diamond cookie cutter. And I just bought myself a set of these diamond cookie cutters and all you have to do is just squeeze them gently and mold it into a square shape. Voila! Square pineapple cake frame molds. Tip number two. When baking pineapple cakes, you can just use a regular cookie sheet or if you want to get the nice kind of grill marks that you see, this is actually kind of a fluke. I was using my new cookie sheet that I got from Lynn Sonoma and it actually has some textured diamond shaped marks on the top and so when I cooked my pineapple case, it kind of came out with grill marks which looked really neat. So if you're going for extra style points, consider getting a textured cookie sheet. Tip number three. So I am using unbleached cake flour in my recipe and this is just King Arthur flour bran. But if you don't have cake flour where you are, you can always use all-purpose flour and cornstarch. So it's kind of like making your own cake flour. How it works is you take one cup of your all-purpose flour, remove two tablespoons of the flour, and then put in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Sift everything together really, really well to make sure it's mixed in, and voila! You have cake flour to use in this recipe. Neat trick. Tip number four. This really isn't a tip, but it's more of like a did you know. So in Taiwan, you can actually buy pineapple cake filling in vacuum sealed bags, bring them home, and make them along with my shortbread recipe. So if you want to try real made in Taiwan pineapple cake filling, that's an option as well. So my final tip is how to enjoy pineapple cakes the next day. I really like mine served warm, and if you have a toaster oven, go ahead and put them in the toaster oven. But if you don't have a toaster oven, I have a little trick where you can actually toast your pineapple cakes in your toaster. I've gone ahead to just cut out a bit of parchment paper, and this is just regular parchment paper that I use for baking. Put a piece of pineapple cake in the parchment paper, put it in your toaster, toast for a few minutes, and a few minutes later, you'll have perfectly toasted and warm pineapple cakes. They're so good. I hope you guys found some of these tips and tricks useful. If you guys like this type of Q&A tips and tricks video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this. And if you're baking this weekend, don't forget to take a selfie of you and your pineapple cakes. I would love to see how they turned out. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.